Earthquakes, why do they occur? And why is this building sinking? The idea that our planet is broken into sections called tectonic plates and the fact that these plates periodically move together and apart was a theory that was finally accepted by geologists in the 1960s. That's true Earth peace. Earthquakes occur when these tectonic plates lock together and try to slip past each other. The energy increases until, without warning, one of these tectonic plates gives way. As a civil engineer, we generally don't want our buildings to be shaking, collapsing to the ground, or sinking into the earth. Buildings sink thanks to a process known as liquefaction. Liquefaction occurs when water logs lose soil, known as sand, into quicksand temporarily. If you were to look closely at the sand, you will realize it is comprised of lots of tiny rocks, and because of their roughly uniform shape, there is space between them that can be filled with water. When we step on saturated sand, the ground is stable because the particles press together and rest on each other, a force known as compression. We build on loose soil because most of the time the ground behaves as a solid, but in an earthquake, the soil particles shuffle around so quickly the water between them cannot flow away, and therefore the ground cannot compress resulting in the water taking the load, but unfortunately, because water is a liquid, it isn't great at supporting dense objects and will result in it sinking. However, when the shaking stops and the soil particles are no longer suspended in water, the ground solidifies again, causing whatever sank to be stuck. Now, that's how Mother Earth plays stuck in the mud.